Now is time of departure. Welcome back, everybody, and we're back for some more deer drops. I am Bryce. Words. I heard a squelch with every step I took. My wet shoes felt awful. Yeah. You started it, Yayoi chan. It was. Never with your friends? <laughs>。That's pretty true. It's kind of like out of a teen drama. Oh. Yayoi chan was sad with disappointment. She had been troubled by the fact that the band with her friends wasn't as motivated at all. Yayoi chan, why don't you keep up the band with your friends? That was something I've been thinking. It didn't seem good to me to just let it in like that. But why don't you try talking once more? Come on. There are things you can only do when you're a student, and those are precious too, aren't they? Yeah, sounds good. I think you should. You can play the music you want without compromise in our band. So why don't you have fun in the band with your friends? And they said all kinds of things about you too, right? It was just an insult upon insult. So you're both even. I always did nothing but play the violin. So I don't have any memories like that. So that's why I may be a bit jealous. Yayoi-chan walked in silence for a while. After thinking about it for a while, she finally looked up. I guess she rethought it over. Yeah, right. I'm sure it'll be a great memory. That's right. They say that good friends are the ones you get in fights with, right? I'm sure you'll be able to make up. Yayoi-chan said teasingly. She had her spirits back again. She was talking about our band. I had told her about our members as she as we walked. That master wouldn't be with us, but Gonasan did join. We'll have to look for the drum still. I plan on asking another girl to be in our vocalist. I guess Yayoi chan figured out since it, she came to see our concert. Yeah, Kaguya san. The, Ganu, the girl who suddenly climbed up on stage last time. Yeah, there is that. But if she joins us, I think she'll be the great asset to our team. Selene, I think. She wore the same uniform as you, Yayoi chan. Yayoi-chan was surprised. Kaguya-san did seem mature. 
<laughs> so that they can't go much like what on in Arkama. But it looks like that girl hates me, so I don't know if she'll do it or not. Either way, I'll have to talk to her myself. Either way, I had to meet her and talk. Yeah, I'm going to talk to her and talk to her. I'm going to talk to her. Hello, Yayoi-chan? The next day, I got a call from Yayoi-chan. It seems she easily made up with her friends in the band. However, since they're all seniors and the entrance exams are coming up, they decided that they'd only keep the band going until the cultural festival, one month from now. They would hold their final concert then and devote themselves to their studies afterwards. Yayoi-chan happily told me about it. I did yeah, I know. I'll go see Kaguya-san. I'll meet her and tell her my feelings. You can go go fast? Oh, the best thing. Deardrops! Yeah! Pumped. This is not good. I came to Selene Girls Academy in search of Kaguya-san, but I was already about to be beaten. I didn't think there'd be so many girls. Even though that's the only natural for the girl for a girl's school. What's worse, they were all looking at me. <laughs> they were whispering rumors. It was like a bed of needles. <laughs> Ugh. This is bad. I might get reported soon. Oh no, it's security. I should leave for a while. <laughs> Who the heck is that? Ugh. Even someone who looked like a teacher ran after me. I I'm sorry, I'm not sus I'm not a suspicious person. How do you know me? I'm not, I'm not. I'm not a suspicious per huh? Did I just imagine someone calling my name? A young teacher pointed at me and shouted, Who are you? Huh? I couldn't say it better. Wow. <laughs> she left me into her she let me into her classroom. The woman grinning in front of me was Yukimoto Kanako Sensei. One of the teachers here. Yukimura sensei studied the piano long ago and often listened to classical. That seemed to be how she knew, knew of me. But still, I'm surprised you recognized me at a glance. She was already holding my hand by the time she said that. She was a lot more forceful than she looked. No, I don't think you're frozen. Um, could you let go of my hand? Um, uh, my hand? I never thought it would be developed into this. I'm glad she like she let me in, but now I couldn't go look for Kaguya-san. Maybe she's already gone home. This being better to let me get with her. She still hadn't let go of my hand, but at least our conversation ended to the right direction. Actually, I was looking for someone. I think she's a student at this academy. Her name is Kaguya Riho-san. Huh? In her class? Yukimura-sensei? Um, no, that would be... 
But that really is an amazing coincidence. I didn't think I'd meet the teacher in charge of Kaguya-san's class. Suganuma-san, Kaguya-san no shiriai dattan desu ka? Deshitara, Suganuma-san kara mo kanojo ni itte yatte hoshii in desu kedo. Yukimura-sensei's tone changed. It seemed something was wrong. What about? Daigetsu no bunka sai de uchi no klasu gashou suru koto ni natte in desu. Demo Kaguya-san, zenzen reishu ni dete kite kurenai in desu yo. Choir at the cultural festival, huh? I couldn't really imagine Kaguya-san happily participating in some school event like a cultural festival. I shouldn't say it, but skipping it seems more like her. I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't think me telling her would help. We're not that close. If I had to say anything, I say she hates me. If I said that to her, it'd be the opposite effect. <sighs> そうですか。彼女、私の言うことなんて全然聞いてくれなくて困ってるんですよね。初めての担任なのにな。Since Kaguya-san was the source of trouble for this poor young teacher, excited to be in charge of her first class. I'm sorry. I can't be more help. いえいえ、私こそ初対面で無理を言ってしまってすみません。で、菅沼さんはかぐやさんに何を Oh, um... It was hard to tell the teacher I was trying to invite one of her students into a band. It was a girls' school that were probably strict about such activities. Yayoi-chan even said as much. It's just a personal request. She doesn't want to hear me out. ああ、そうなんですか。じゃあ、同じ悩みを抱えた者同士ってことですね。That's true, in some sense. それじゃあ、これからも協力し合いましょう。あ、携帯番号交換してもらっていいですか。Yeah. はい、赤外線送信。That teacher sure acts fast. 何してるの ？Oh, here we go. I heard a familiar, no, an unmistakable voice strike me. Ah.、Uh... When I turned around, I saw Kaguya-san standing at the entrance to the classroom. Ara, Kaguya-san, anata made no kotte tano? She ignored her teacher's question and walked, looking straight at him in the eyes. どうしてあんたがここにいるのよ？ Her eyes and words were always straight and direct. If my feelings weren't steady, they'd make me falter. Kaguya-san, so you yi kata wa nai desho? Kagoya-san grew suspicious at Yukimura-sensei's words. 知り合いなんですか Oh crap! Sorry. 私が一方的に知ってただけよ。菅沼さんは有名人だもの。Kagoya-san looked displeased at her teacher trying to cover for me. 大体なんでここが分かったの？私何も言ってないわよね。Well. Your uniform was here. The person I know goes here, so I knew the uniform well. What did you come here for? All her words were straight to the point. There was no playing around. Then I would be straight as well. I have a request for you. I felt you can marry Sensei's eyes left on my on my left cheek. I brushed them away from my mind. Now was my only chance to say it. If I tried to hide it now, she'd think I was asking out of some half-baked sentiment again. I made up my mind. I want you to join our band as our vocalist. I told her straight and clear. Eh, band? The one who reacted was Yuki Morrison. Kaguya-san's expression didn't change. Band? Then, what is it? Jazz? Or something? No, rock. Rock. Yukimura since I gasped. She probably never dreamed that I would be playing rock. The evening classroom felt silent for a moment as the time had stopped. Ah no, rock? Te? Rock no bando de violin o hikun desu ka? Sorry, I'm terrible. No, I don't play the violin anymore. You know too, don't you, Sensei? I'm not qualified to do so anymore. Sonna kota. I have. 
I love how everybody just freaking knows that I fucked up in that stupid orchestra or whatever. Everybody knows that. I'm playing the guitar now, though I just started recently. Oh, she's creepy. She's a groupie. Yukimura Sensei's voice wavered. Her eyes sparkled in the evening light. Huh? It is? Well, at some point. But first I need to get the members together. However, Kaguya-san remained expressionless. She stood still with her eyes shut. Uh, Kaguya-san. She said curtly and started walking off. I was turned down way too easily. Phew. I felt the tension leaving my body. I guess I was more nervous than I thought. No, there's no need for you to apologize, Sensei. This is my fault for coming here all of a sudden. But is she always like that? Even in school? She heaved a deep sigh. I'm sure that girl, like... Is like that all day, all year long. I can't even imagine her smiling. I wonder when that girl smiles or has fun. So, Yes, very. You didn't know? You have your share of troubles too, don't you? <laughs> She said in tears as she snuggled up to me. Yeah, she's a little strange. Um... Sensei? I think she likes to sing, though. Maybe she just doesn't like the idea of doing something with everyone like that, like a school event. それが文化祭の目的ですからね。でも曲だってそんな堅苦しいものじゃないんですよ。バンドの曲で。あ、バンドソング。あ、ロックバンド。ロックって言ってもそんな激しいものじゃないんですけど、君の元へっていう素敵
Sure. And so. I'm Suganima Soichi. Thank you for having me. I ended up accepting the choir offer. I was here to greet them during morning homeroom. Oh, God! They all let out the shrill squeals. Young girls have such power in their voices. They'd give the lighthouse a run for its money. Kaguya-san was in the classroom as well. But she definitely looked mad. Yeah. She had a good glare going today. Oh, God. Ryo, why aren't you killing? Kya! Kya like the girl I know you are! What is that about, bitch? Yukimura sensei said, looking at Kaguya-san, but she still didn't seem to care. Today we caught her without warning, so Kaguya-san wasn't able to run away. The class said in unison, with the exception of one. Kagoi-san continued to glare at me until the end.